everyone. My name is Aarti Parapuri and I'm a Technical Account Manager here at AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most predominantly asked questions by customers about a Lambda function with an SQS event source. Why isn't my Lambda function with an SQS event source scaling optimally? How do I make sure that my function scales to the optimal concurrency when configured with an SQS queue as the event source? Let's get started. Let's first start by understanding how Lambda scales for a standard queue. Lambda uses long polling to poll a queue continuously for messages and invokes the configured Lambda function synchronously with an event that contains queue messages. Lambda reads the messages in batches and invokes your function once for each batch. When messages are available in the queue, Lambda starts with reading up to five batches in parallel and sends them to the Lambda function. That means up to five concurrent instances. If an increasing queue depth is detected, Lambda increases the number of processes reading the batches by up to 60 more instances per minute. And the scaling continues until either Lambda concurrency reaches 1000. Now, please note that this limit can be increased. Account concurrency limit reaches or per function concurrency limit reaches. Having understood how the scaling happens, let's talk about reasons why a function would not scale as expected. Reason one, if there are continuous Lambda function errors noticed, these could be invocation errors or function execution errors. To check for errors in the Lambda console, you can go to the Lambda console. Under monitor and metrics, you could see the error count and success, and here's where you would see the errors. If there are any invocation or throttle errors, you would see those errors under this metric. Alternatively, you can also click on View Logs in CloudWatch and check for the log details here. To prevent errors from happening at scale, Lambda decreases the rate of invocations when errors occur. So these errors must be identified and resolved to allow Lambda to scale the function. Reason two, if the Lambda function is not configured with optimal concurrency for the use case. To check the function's concurrency on the Lambda console, you can go to configuration. Under concurrency, you would see the function's concurrency. Currently, this function is using the unreserved account concurrency, which would mean that the Lambda function would share the concurrency with the other Lambda functions in the account. If you configured the reserved concurrency on your function, then your function is throttled when it reaches the reserved value. It's a best practice to make sure that the amount of concurrency reserved for your function is at least 1000 for standard Amazon queues, or at least the number of active message groups or higher for FIFO queues. If you haven't configured reserved concurrency on your function, then your function has a default unreserved concurrency of 1000, which is shared with other functions in the same AWS account and region. If there's at least 1000 unreserved concurrency available in your function's region, then the function continues to scale until it reaches the maximum concurrency. Invocations are throttled when all of your unreserved concurrency is in use. To scale up additional concurrent invocations, your account must not be near the service quota for scaling or burst concurrency in the region. You can request a service quota increase in the service quotas console if you need a higher concurrency for a specific region. And finally, the most obvious reason preventing a Lambda function from scaling is if there are not enough messages in the SQS queue. If an Amazon SQS queue is configured to invoke a Lambda function, then Lambda will scale invocations only if there are messages in the queue. To check how many messages in your SQS queue still need to be processed, review the approximate number of messages visible metric. You can check that data in your SQS console by going to the monitoring section and checking the approximate number of messages visible metric. Uh, if the metric is low or is at zero, your Lambda function will not scale. And if the metric is high and there are no invocation errors, you can try increasing the batch size on your event notification. Now, please note that the maximum batch size for a standard Amazon SQS queue is 10,000 records. You can update the event source 
maximum batching window in seconds to the desired volume. And for FIFO queues, the maximum batch size is 10 records. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>